हेलो एवरी वन नाउ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द टर्बाइन्स एंड वट यू मीन बाय द टर्बाइन्स वी हैव सीन दट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टर्बाइन चैप्टर नाउ इन डिटेल विद द नीड स्केचेस वी विल स्टडी दट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द टर्बाइन्स दीज आर ऑल्सो कट एज द हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन्स मीन्स वाटर टर्बाइन्स that three types you will study in detail with the sketches here how it works how it is constructed here now and comparison between that three turbines we are study study first one the pelton wheel or a pelton turbine it is now pelton turbine as we have already classified it comes under the classification the impulse turbine it comes under that the impulse turbine here and uh, it also comes under that uh, uh, low that uh, discharge here no? and uh, it comes under that uh, high head here and the speed is also somewhat it is that is high uh, head here high speed here high speed here means it comes under the category impulse turbine it is mainly the impulse force is acting what do you mean by the impulse you study in somewhat it is a brief here and a low discharge it has a high head and almost it is a high speed that turbine here and how it is constructed as we know the turbines will converts that fluid energy into rotary mechanical energy here as how to draw this one now how to draw this one as we know the shaft shaft is there that is a shaft where there we are getting a rotary mechanical energy it is the output of the turbine that shaft is connected to the generator for electricity generation so this is shaft here this on this shaft there will be the another one very important part that is called as the rotor rotor or else it is sometimes it is also called as the runner means what it is rotating or in a circular direction as the shaft will rotates that will also rotate or that will rotate and shaft will rotates it is like that here so therefore this is a, a rotor here yes this is a rotor so rotor or else it is also called as a runner here now so just i will call it is a rotor rotor or else it is also called as the runner here because it is uh, rotating in circular manner that means circular manner it is rotating here now means it has bearing send out it is free to rotate if i apply certain force on this tangential forces like this here tangential forces like this it will starts rotating freely because it is mounted on the bearing bearing is mounted on the shaft yeah. so next what are uh, uh, next uh, uh, another some uh, elements are there in here now they are called as the vanes or a blades here vanes or a blades are the that means what very important part which will converts mainly that fluid energy into that uh, rotary mechanical energy here now that is very very important shape size design of the blade and the material used for the blade is very very that means what important uh, that uh, factors or parameters here because shape size design and materials are very important here now so therefore especially if the turbine uh, turbine uh, uh, turbine that uh, type changes fluid changes some other parameter like pressure temperature changes definitely its material design shape size everything will changes here so therefore that a blade or a vane is very very important parameter very important device which will converts that means what the fluid energy into that rotary mechanical energy now how these are that usually in pelton turbines these blades are just like cup shape here like this cup shape that blades if i draw a vertical axis here it is symmetric each the both the side of the axis 
this is symmetric just like uh, cup shape that plates are there here now so that cup shape plates the number of blades these are sometimes these are called also called the buckets in case of pattern wheels these are called as a buckets here now because just like bucket or cup shaped blades are there. these are uh, forged on this rotor like this here so these are forged fixed one so therefore what is happening here now if this cups uh, when the when the, when that force is applied on this impinging some fluid on this so these will starts that will sort of the rotating here now these will starts so that uh, uh, the uh, rotating here now this is this direction just to so because it will rotates in this direction here so it will starts that means what the rotating here so because this cup this is a rotor and these are the blades or uh, also called the buckets buckets here cup shape these are cup shape that means what buckets are there. and this whole this rotor and this setup this is called as the impeller here this is called as the impeller here this is fixed in uh, this is uh, uh, placed in a on casing that the casing is a cover that means what it is that cover it is there it is placed in the cover here like this here so now that means what uh, now this is for this is a mechanical device when the force will applied it will starts that means what the rotating here how it will rotates certain force has to apply the force has to come the force means it is a kind of energy energy available in the fluid how that fluid has to enter fluid has to enter through the nozzle here so here exactly very nearer to this cup that uh, there will be the one pipe here there is a tube here in this tube at the end of this tube there will be a nozzle here nozzle this is called as the nozzle 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 is decreasing cross sectional area here what happens separately we will study this one now nozzle is like this here now it's along this in this direction here now this cross sectional area is decreasing here cross sectional area is there ac cross sectional area is decreasing here by the cross sectional area is decreasing in the direction of the flow so what happens so the main action will happens here now the main pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy here by the change of that cross sectional area in that is decreasing cross sectional area that means here that pressure energy it is entering that pressure energy is converted into what here no kinetic energy when the fluid enters here it is come out with a very high kinetic energy this is called as the jet here that is uh, high velocity jet here no? how we you know high velocity jets as you know in a fire fighting uh, that machines and all fire fighting machines water is entered in that pipe and the firing is happening that uh, that will moves where that fire it is there in case of the multi storey buildings here now. so therefore that is come out with a very high velocity jet here now. means very high kinetic energy jet here so that high kinetic energy jet it is coming here it will impinge it will impinge on this blade then blades will starts rotating so therefore the blades are fixed on the rotor rotor will starts rotating then the shaft is there shaft will also starts rotating or this is the main function here now the what is converting here now this kinetic energy of this fluid is there it is now it is converted into rotary mechanical energy here so next one 
is there anything to control this uh, uh, velocity or uh, flow rate how much water has to flow yes it is much needed because we have to control the speed with which it is rotating here very high speed is also not, not possible to maintain not uh, possible to that means what construct device for very very high speeds here no? because vibration problems materialistic problems are there and also another one problem is what here now that the problem is designing it is not possible for the high speeds here no? and very low speeds it will generate very less amount of the rotary mechanical energy so therefore it is very much need to control that the amount of the fluid which is moving in this nozzle and speed of that that fluid so that's why here is another one that uh, one uh, design is there here now that is called the spear this is spear it is like this you know here at the end it has a handle here it has uh, that handle here now handle what is this one actually if i rotate that handle in one direction it will move forward that means spear will move forward when the spear will move forward here this opening is there it will going to close yes. means the less amount of the fluid is moving here means less space less amount. if it is moving away from this hole the total hole will open more amount of the fluid will be flowing so therefore the movement of this spear rod or spear in the hole it will control the how much that uh, quantity of that fluid is moving in the hole and speed also it will controls by rotating of this uh, hand wheel this is called as a spear rod yes we can write here no spear rod this is a spear here now spear it is a hand wheel here hand wheel here this is a casing here no it is a casing here so by rotating in one direction and another direction it will control that movement uh, forward and backward movement of the spear rod it will control that uh, flow rate of that fluid and also speed here that is very very important here so this is arrangement the next one is that is a uh, fluid once that uh, turbine if you want to shut down now it is closed it is starts it is also closed here no for example to shut down that uh, turbine again it is also rotating this uh, with a very high speed if you want to set down that one immediately here now what is the arrangement here now that is called as the that uh, striking jet or brakes that the jet brakes are there that is in which direction that uh, the turbine it is rotating here now opposite direction it is rotating in this direction opposite direction here that uh, here in the opposite direction it is moving in this direction in the opposite direction here we are putting that means sort of brake jet means just like it is a brake for the wheel we are applying for the vehicles it is a jet brake it will be applied so therefore that turbine will be shut down after conversion of the energy from the fluid energy to <laughs> mechanical energy it after converting that water that means what it will be collected at the bottom this will be called as the tail race here this is called as a tail race where that water will be that is collected after collection of that energy here this is about pelton wheel it has components and it is a the classification as i have told you will see in the next video under two types of the that turbines thank you thank you